All right. You got, you got a good start on our wires. I got the, uh, you know, the wires for the lights on top of the cage, all those cut to length. And I got this, this engine right here. It's all wired in and complete. I just gotta get everything strapped down. That engine, I still need to make those connections on it. And I gotta put the bilge pump in place. Run those wires. And get all that strapped down. And that's gonna be it for the wire and the, and the electrical. I think. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. And I think now I can start uh, putting that wire around that, uh, around that cage. That thin stuff. So now guys, it's uh, it hot out here. Ain't no air moving. We're gonna, we're gonna let it cool off a little bit before we get back out here on this thing. And y'all stick around, we'll be back. Here you go guys. Got that uh, fencing material around the side and the back. And across the top. And the way I'm doing that, just got the wire cut long by taking a wrap around. See if we can see that. And I just bend it on to hold it in place. And on the cross pieces, put me some zip ties. So we got the, uh, that done. Now we got to get on the front of this thing, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge trying to handle that material. So we're going to get on that next. What I'm doing, cut my wire long, and then I'm going to wrap the wire around the pipe, give it a little twist around, Hang on, guys. That engineer got me this time. When I find him, I'm gonna have a talk with him. It's been too easy for the engineer to cut that and make that we can get, get to it. Instead of having to get down here and fight everything. There we go. All our 12 volt system. The wires are ran and connected to the toggle switches. I just gotta get it there and tidy everything up, strap everything down, get it cleaned up, neaten up down there. That's gonna be finished. And I gotta get me another toggle switch with a with a boot for my main um, run and stop in engine stops. Starting run and start, whatever you want to call it. Engine stop and run switch. And I gotta get the the holes for the for the bilge and the you know, through hole fitting, and that's gonna be done. Hook up the battery, get a battery box, strap up all the wires, put the seats in, put the linkage back in for the for the rudders, put the rudders in. And uh, once we get all that. Rudders and all that put in place. And we should be ready to put in the water, go for a test run. Still have a few more things to do after that, but they'd be ready to go testing. As soon as that carburetor gets in, we're going to hook it up and uh, start breaking these engines in a little bit. I need to break them in before we go testing. So stick around, guys. We're almost there. All right, guys. Oh, we got that carburetor in. It's like it's a little bit different, but it's still the same. I might have to uh, rework my cable wires or make it work right. But uh, I think it's going to be all right.
All right, what I'm working on now is my uh, emergency kill. What I thought was going to make a kill, this is making a kill, so we got to go a different route. We're going to get that fixed up before we get any further on anything. Pretty much there, guys. All right, guys, this is where we at. This rudder, with the, the bracket on it made like this, was intended to come on this side. Wouldn't work, because I didn't have the clearance with the prop that I needed. So what I did, I took and moved it from where it belonged here, and I put it on this side. When I done that, I had to brainstorm taking some conduit and bending it from all the way around and back over to here. Only thing that happened with that was 100% fail. This thing just will not work. So what I'm doing, making me a little arm that's going to fit on the back side. Well, I'll get that in place and I'll show y'all what I'm talking about right quick. Like, let me go get them other pieces made. I'll be right back with y'all guys. This so is what I mean, guys. All I did is got a little arm come up right there. It's going to transfer the force to the side over here. And it's going to line up with the rudder in the back. And what I did on this, I got to play with my little lathe. I made me some little bushings. Then I'm going to weld some, uh, Think about one by one tubing on there. That end. And on that end. And hopefully, all this stuff is going to line up. And I'll be back in business. Let me get this thing on the water and see what it's going to do. Right, let me get to making some more linkages. On this side, I'm going to have to put me some, uh, I'm going to some rod and bearings that I'm putting on this side. On this side, I decided to make me some bushings and hopefully I got that lined up where it's going to work. But we're going to find out here shortly, guys. We're going to be back. There we go. I like this system a whole lot better. I like cleaner. Works good. Oh. I think it's time. To go get this thing wet, just got to strap that battery down. I keep forgetting about that. We're going to see if it's going to float. Oh, well, we're going to be back. All right, well guys, been trying all day long to go test run this thing. Been fighting the rain. Decided to go ahead and go, even though it rained in between the raindrop. And uh, I'm not happy right now, guys. I'm not happy at all. First, we're fighting the rain. Then I undo my safety thing. But I don't lash the, the thing completely right. Get halfway down the landing. And a boat comes off of the trailer. When the boat came off the trailer, it bent all the all the trim tabs all crazy. I'm about to see if I can fix all that stuff. Then I try to run it. And my I had a linkage failure. I got to adjust that linkage failure, figure out what's going on with it. I think I need to make my little rods a little bit longer. That might help it. And lock them down a little bit better. I set everything too far back. I miscalculated on my weight. So I'm going to have to take everything and move it forward about four inches. So that's going to take some rigging to do that, some thinking, some figuring. And uh, 
but the engine still aren't, aren't quite broke in yet. I still need to tune those carburetors. The carburetors need to be tuned a little bit better than what they are. Uh, so, got to ship them props back, get some new ones, well, at least the blades, get some new ones. Move everything forward. Fix the trim tabs in the back. That uh, got all bent up from when I dropped it off the trailer. And we got to redo these linkages on the, between the rudders. That, that's just going to be make them cut, them, cut them pieces off and make them a little bit longer. And uh, it would probably have done good with, with me and Darren both in it. But me by myself, you know, too much weight in the back. Which I was kind of scared that was going to be the case. Well, anyhow, guys, uh, it's going to be the last video on this until I get all them, them things corrected. And when I get them corrected, I'm going uh, to get some more video of this thing running. Hopefully I don't drop it off the trailer again. But, uh, we're going to make it work some kind of way or another. Oh yeah, guys, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about the disappointment on this thing right now, but we're going to get it right. And we're going to get some video later on. But uh, right now i got a few things i got to address with it. Also, these engines don't have a charging system, so i got to order a... Uh, I think John Deere makes a 20 amp uh, alternator, but I'm about to make a bracket and figure out I'm gonna put a pulley on the backside of that engine to uh, make that work. Definitely gotta have some kind of charging system because with the fuel pump and the lights and everything, it, it ain't gonna let it run long. Well, anyhow, guys, we're gonna get all this addressed and uh, we get all that fixed. And also, I gotta order some more those air filters on there, they're too big. They hit you in the back. This one didn't even stay on. It fell off on a, on a ride coming back home. So I got some, uh, some small pancake filters of water that I'm going to put on here. But, uh, we're going to make it work. Just got a few things to fix on it, guys. But, uh, like I said, thank you all for coming. And it's going to be a couple, two or three weeks before I have any more video on this thing. It's going to take that long to get this uh, the prop shipped back and the new one shipped to me. And to get all this stuff cut loose and moves up forward. Uh, you know, thank you guys. We'll be back.